Hello class, I made a short video to show you and help you with your um, coding guidelines or conventions in your ICD-10 coding manual. And with one of the scenarios I want to use is nasopharyngeal miasis. And um, we are trying to find the various coding conventions or guidelines, which are mostly the rules and regulations that are written in your tabular list under the code um, B87, which is the category code for this condition. And um, the exact code is B87.3. An additional character to confirm the exact matching code to the diagnosis given. So where and how do I can confirm the conventions for this code? Before I go to the tabular list, I want you to review the questions you have that you were having a problem. So when you were asked to confirm this question, the scenario for myasis, nasopharyngeal myasis, of course you start with the index. You find the main term, the subterm, but then it starts to ask you certain questions. When you get to the tabular list, it's asking you, do you see include notation? Do you see any code first notation? Do you see any code also notation? Do you see any use additional notation? Do you see excludes one notation? Do you see excludes two notation? Everything that I just read is a coding convention, okay? And you have to make sure you confirm that so you can apply the correct codes before you file a claim with the code that you're trying to present to the insurance company. You make any of these mistakes here. You don't apply this information. Before confirming the code on the claim form, the claim form will be denied by the insurance company because you missed a certain, in certain information that was very much necessary for the insurance company to process the claim form. So once I go, my, go through my index and I go to the main term, subterm, I come to my tabular list, I see B87 for myasis, and then it matches B87.3 for nasopharyngeal myasis, and also for laryngeal myasis, which is another disease having the same code. Only difference is the nasopharynx and the larynx, which is just one step above and below from each other, but any of these can be coded with the same code. And the only character, additional character I have after the B87 is B87.3. There are other codes, but these are not matching my scenario, so I'm not going to worry about that. So what do I see? Do I see a convention here? Do I see a coding guideline here? The only one that I see is this one, includes, okay? And that is the only one that I have here. So I don't see excludes one, I don't see excludes two, I don't see code first, code also, or use additional code. So if you go back to the questionnaire that we were looking at, you can probably end up answering all the questions wrong. So why are these, why is it saying yes to exclude one, excludes two, and additional code? So remember there is another page that we have to find okay in your tabular list and let me get to take you there so when you come to the tabular um, ICD-10 tabular list of diseases remember it starts with the chapter chapter 1 is for infectious diseases and you can see that my code is B87.3 so I'm supposed to be in the chapter one of my tabular list, okay? Now I have to go to the first page of my uh, ICD, my, my uh, chapter one. First page of chapter one, so let's go there. This is my first page of chapter one. So I see certain infectious and parasitic diseases, chapter one, I see A00B99, and I also see includes, use additional, excludes one, and excludes two. Why are this? Why are all of these here? Because they are supposed to be covering every code between A00 and B99. So remember, anytime you confirm your code anywhere, 
always go to the first page of that chapter and confirm if there are any additional coding conventions or guidelines posted on that page, which is far, far, far away from where you found the code in the tabular list, but it is a necessity. It is your job as a coder to confirm the first page of your tabular list for that chapter to make sure that if you have anything that you might be missing before you file the claim. So now that you have seen, have found this information, you can understand why it says yes to additional code, yes to excludes one, yes to excludes two, right? So all of these different notations that we're talking about, code first, code also, use additional code, excludes one, excludes two, are all your coding conventions, guidelines that has to be confirmed before you file a claim. So not necessarily that every code will have the same scenario. If I go up a little bit, you can see that some of them have exclude one right under the category code. When I say category code, category is only the three digit code in the tabular list and it can divide and subdivide into fourth, fifth, sixth, and seven. Once it becomes a fourth, fifth, and sixth, and seven, it is called a subcategory code. And you can see that I have excludes one here. I have excludes two right under B81.1 because it might be something very particular to the, to the disease we are coding for. So not every condition will be similar to another condition. You just have to be smart enough as a coder to make sure you look in every nook and corner of your uh, tabular list to make sure that you understand that I could be um, miss, missing any one of these uh, coding convention if I don't check the right places. So it is always important that you check under your category, three digit code, which can be um, three pages away or which can be the first page of the chapter, including all the codes. And you will always check that before you confirm your answers or before you file a claim. I hope that helped. And if you still need more information, let me know and I will be more than happy to create another video for you or help you accordingly. Have a great day, guys.